The Super Bowl is the biggest sporting event in North America. Around 112 million people watched last year's big game. But evidenced by how we declare the winner of Major League Baseball to be world champions, we sometimes forget they play sports in other continents too. And when you compare the Super Bowl audience to the number of people who tune in to watch some of the other major sporting events in the world, suddenly the NFL championship game might not seem quite so huge anymore. Today we'll explore the top 5 most watched sports events in the world. Though the North American appetite for the finals of tennis majors tend to depend on who's playing in them, championship matches of Grand Slam tournaments are always huge draws across the globe. The 2017 Australian Open final between Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal attracted approximately 11 million viewers in Europe and close to 5 million in Australia. Meanwhile, in North America, despite the fact that the match began at 3 a.m. Eastern Time, ESPN reported that approximately 3 million Americans tuned in to watch. Staying in North America, NBC reported record low ratings and viewership for the 2017 French Open final, but the previous year, when Novak Djokovic took on Andy Murray, approximately 2 million viewers watched the match. Streaming also accounts for a huge part of the tennis viewing audience. According to the BBC, it served 24.1 million streaming requests for the 2017 Wimbledon tournament, an all-time record for the broadcaster. India is the second highest populated country in the world, and cricket is the most popular sport in India. So it only makes sense that when the Cricket World Cup takes place every four years, television numbers skyrocket. As of last year, cricket matches involving India accounted for the four most watched games in International Cricket Council history. Approximately 558 million people watched the 2011 World Cup final between India and Sri Lanka, clashes between India and Pakistan, and the 2015 World Cup and 2017 Champions Trophy Tournament averaged around 320 million viewers as well. It isn't just natives of India who are accounting for these massive television television numbers. A record 1.1 million people tuned in to British broadcaster Sky Sports to watch England defeat India in the final of the 2017 Women's Cricket World Cup. That audience was larger than the average viewership for a typical Premier League game. Like the World Cup, both the Olympic Summer Games and Winter Games are held just once every four years. Although organizers decided in the mid-1990s to stop holding the summer and winter events in the same year, alternating them every two years instead, the rarity of any of the games still causes us to watch in droves. The 2016 Summer Games in Rio de Janeiro boasted an international audience of 3.6 billion viewers. And though you might think the Winter Games are a less popular spectacle, but 3.5 billion people saw at least part of the 2010 Winter Games in Vancouver. In addition to the scarcity of the Olympics, another possible reason so many people watch on television is the variety of events, guaranteeing that there's something that appeals to almost everybody. The opening ceremonies are always among the most watched events during the Olympics, while the other most popular summer events are gymnastics, swimming, and track and field. None of those three sports receive anywhere near the exposure of football, soccer, or basketball, especially in North America. Who wants to watch a bunch of guys riding their bicycles across France in a 2200 mile race that lasts nearly an entire month? Way more people than you might think, and I'm not just talking about the 10 to 12 million people that will annually line the roadside to watch in person. The 2017 Tour de France enjoyed record-setting television numbers. Race broadcaster Eurosport reported a 10% increase in ratings across Europe, with an average of nearly 800,000 people watching each stage. Stage 21 of the race attracted a record peak audience of 7.3 million people. And in host country France, the tour drew close to 40% share of the audience. Those rating increases came in the first year that Eurosport covered every single minute of the race and encouraged the broadcaster to commit to doing the same for the next six years. All in all, the Tour de France is broadcast in 190 different countries. Estimates vary in the number of people that watch the race each year across the world, but it seems safe to believe that it annually tops the 1 billion mark. This beautiful game never fails to deliver beautiful numbers for television executives, especially when the top soccer nations in the world gather every four years to contest the FIFA World Cup. The 2014 World Cup final between Germany and Argentina drew nearly 1 billion viewers across the world. And it's not as if people just waited for the championship game to tune in. On average, more than 200 million people watch each game in the tournament. Multiply that average by 64 games that are played in every World Cup, and we're talking about roughly 13 billion set of eyes during the competition. Other soccer showdowns attract huge numbers as well. 
The 2017 UEFA Champions League final attracted more than 3 million viewers in the United States alone. And the 2015 Women's World Cup saw 61 million people tune in to watch the US beat Japan 5-2 in the championship game. For more insights into sports and sports betting, visit us at gamblingsites.org.